We recognise the importance of culture to Middlesbrough, but we also recognise that as a council we have a duty to support the continued growth and success of our culture and creative sectors. Creative Bloom is a project that puts that into action. The Creative Bloom initiative was a response to the Arts Development Team and Middlesbrough Council's Cultural Service having a better and refreshed dialogue with the rest of the creative and cultural sector in Middlesbrough. Part of my role is to see how we can work with these sectors to ensure that our messages and our philosophy matches to ensure that our town succeeds because of our cultural sector. So music is about musical inclusion and that means we are trying to work towards creating a musically inclusive Teesside, one where all young people, irrespective of their background or their personal circumstances, can get involved in music making, get involved in the sort of music making they want to do, and can grow and develop both in music, through the developing their musical skills, and through music, developing their personal and social skills as well. Our focus is on young people, young people aged 10 to 24. Those young people are the adults of the future. And it's not long before they'll be the adults of Middlesbrough. And what this place becomes is going to depend on them. It's going to depend on their attitudes, their outlook, how they feel about themselves. So I think we are investing in these young people, not just for their own sake, although we hope that we're going to help them have positive, constructive lives, but also for the difference it's going to make in the long term to Middlesbrough. Dance Middlesbrough is the dance development programme for Middlesbrough Council delivering a professional and community activity across the area. The ideas around Emerge are to support professional dance makers and choreographers. We have a platform called Moving Frontiers, which is for short professional works to be shown. And the aim is then that we would identify artists who show their work at that platform and further support them. We're able to deliver our programme through a number of key professional partnerships. Billingham Folklore Festival help us to realise professional UK-based companies delivering residencies with young people in Middlesbrough. We also work with Tees Valley Dance. We work in partnership with the Youth Dance Academy on an annual platform called Move On Middlesbrough. We have a tea dance programme and the Town Hall has been proud to host a monthly tea dance for many years. I run Tees Dance Film Festival which is an annual platform to promote screen dance. Dance is really important particularly in deprived areas in Middlesbrough. It's non-competitive, it allows people to be creative, it's healthy and it can really create a sense of community. A number of projects which we piloted in schools and also community centres, they carry on successfully after our initial funding and that just proves that there's a benefit and value that's, that's felt by the local community. Blah Blah is situated in a Grade 2 listed building which used to be a post office in the Victorian quarter of Middlesbrough. We are an art gallery with a running exhibition programme. We also have a few different event spaces which we can offer to artists and creatives where they can use it as a blank canvas to showcase their independent projects. We also offer a range of different creative events that are alternative to what's currently going on in Middlesbrough. One of my highlights was a live performance as part of Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, which is Middlesbrough Council's project. I feel like we're doing something really important because we bridge the gap between study and mid-career artists. Middlesbrough College is situated in Middlehaven. We cover a whole range of very creative subjects. So most of our courses are vocational, which means that a lot of it is hands-on. We're teaching you practical skills. We're not just, we are covering the theory. There's a lot of theory stuff in there that you do need in order to inform your practice. But a lot of it is actually hands-on. You get to go out there and try it. You get to do it not only in the college, day to day, you're, you're, you're practicing your craft, you're honing it, you're kind of perfecting it. But then you get the opportunity to do things such as work experience. You get a chance to go out into the community, actually involve yourself in some of the stuff that's going out there and show people what you can do. Dozens of clients in the past year have come to us with a need. Hey, we need a video for this, or we need some photographs taken, or we've got this great event going on, but we need some coverage of it. Our students love actually getting to practice what they do to a real world situation. We've got a whole range of short courses. The short courses will teach you skills which are necessary to kind of thrive and actually explore your creativity. We're also looking to make sure everyone who feels they would like to be studying has an option there for them. We have not only standard BTEC courses, A-levels, we offer degrees and access. If you want to do something, if you have that urge, if you feel like you want to explore your personal creativity in the way in which you want to explore it, go and do it.
The word Mila is a Sanskrit word meaning gathering or fair, and that's exactly what we pull together here in Middlesbrough. We have, uh, over the two days, on average, 40,000 people gathering together to celebrate Middlesbrough Mela. It's a fantastic opportunity once through the year for everyone to come together as a large community. People from all ages can go and do something that they've probably never done before. We also attract some of the, the biggest names in, in Asian music to, to, to our events. So we've had artists such as Ragav, we've had artists such as Signature, and they go down absolutely a storm with our crowds. Middlesbrough Council have been a great advocate and supporter of the Mela Management Committee for over 25 years now. We celebrate our 25th year last year. We were also recognised with an award for a big contribution to our local community and that was recognition from the BME Awards so that was fantastic also. Middlesbrough Mela shows how integrated the community is and it shows great cohesion in, in terms of Middlesbrough's community and long may it continue. Navigator North is a community interest company formed to explore the connections between artist spaces and audiences. So in 2011 we got this space that we're currently in, Dunder's House, which is in the centre of Middlesbrough. It's an eight storey office block and in partnership with East Street Arts we were able to activate this space. So it does a variety of things. It's studio space for artists, it's event space for a variety of different events and we've also used it for one-off projects and films to be made here and photo shoots and all sorts of things. We do work with artists from across the art. It's quite a beneficial environment to have those kind of artists working next to each other. In 2013 we developed a programme of activity called Work and Play and it was inspired by the site that we have in Middlesbrough which is Dundas House. It's the previous site of the Middlesbrough Winter Gardens and we used that to develop a programme which involved small grants for artists, a residency and lots of different activity and professional development for artists. We are ourselves practising artists or arts professionals. We're all from the North East. We all feel passionate about what we do, both as artists and, and as Navigator, and we want to invest in that. Tees Valley Arts is based in Royal Middlehaven House, which is a Python property and which has the Python gallery downstairs. We use the term participatory arts, and the implication of that, obviously, is that people participate. We design and manage a whole range of activities with a whole range of groups and participants learning to improve their lives, to engage with science and the environment, just a host of things. And we contract a host of artists to deliver those. We work with all kinds of excluded groups, we work very extensively with young people, sometimes in mainstream education, but also those in care, those in trouble with the law, those at risk of exploitation, those kinds of circumstances to help them turn their heads on really, to engage with their own creativity, to explore their own issues in life, to help them move forward. Like all organisations, we have a strapline and we're about to sort of change the one we've used to just the phrase, the art of changing lives. I think it's very important to see that everyone has a basic creativity, even if they've never had a chance to engage with it themselves. Well, Exaband Press and Literature Development Organisation, Exaband means one voice in Urdu. We work with lots of artists from different disciplines. We work with community groups. We do a lot of collaboration with musicians, visual artists, dancers, filmmakers. We've worked with a lot of countries in Europe and brought artists to Middlesbrough. We're on the board of the T-Junction Festival, which happens every two years in Middlesbrough now and brings international poets from all over the world. We've tried to create opportunities for young people especially that we didn't have when we were young. We're trying to give them access to wider culture. We've got a very community-based approach and that doesn't just mean we go out and work in the community, it means that we see artists as a community and the best way for all artists to prosper is to support each other. Creativity transcends boundaries, borders and linguistic barriers. And I've seen that repeatedly with people from different communities, different groups, different languages all working together, being creative and finding a common ground. Cleveland College of Art and Design is a specialist art school. We are essentially training people for the creative industries. The creative industries is one of the growth areas of the British economy, so there's a huge diverse range of things that our students can achieve and careers that they can pursue. So we try and get our students more integrated in Middlesbrough by 
asking them to actually find clients within the local area. So it really drives Middlesbrough's creative output. So our offer to the wider sort of Tees Valley community is often in the shape of our students interacting with industry, with retail outlets and engaging in life projects. I went out and did work placements over the summer which gives me a much better understanding of how the industry works. It fosters innovative thinking and creativity which really is the wave of the future. We also offer short courses and predominantly they're for adults or people who are wanting to get a taste of what we do. Also we do Saturday classes and there is an offer there for the for the under 16s who may want to experience what we have to offer. We're developing skills for the future, giving an opportunity to so many young individuals who can make a difference enriching the quality of life in the North East. Teesside University is the most exciting modern university in the United Kingdom and we're based here right in the centre of Middlesbrough with our £250 million campus centred around Borough and Southfield Roads. As a creative organisation, Teesside has a rich portfolio of activity but we also host and contribute to cultural events here on campus and across the town and that's a really exciting programme which showcases all that's great about Middlesbrough. We have poetry on campus events every month. We have the International Animex Festival, so it's a festival of animation and gaming, now in its 16th year. We also have Creative Teesside, where we celebrate the work of our final year students, our degree show, which attracts employers and creative industry from across the UK. We have a number of events around particular themes, societal themes, so in Black History Month, in October, we welcome Benjamin Zephaniah and some world-class dub and reggae artists to the campus. Teesside University now manages and leads MENA, the Middlesbrough Institute for Modern Art. We also offer incubation space for young creative businesses. We have our library resources and our archives. We have exhibitions in our Constantine Gallery. We have public art right across our campus. And all of these assets and resources and all of these events and attractions are open for the public to see. This is the University for Middlesbrough and the Tees Valley. And a university is about much more than just educating young people. This, by definition, is a space for everybody. It's a universal space, a university. And we want everybody to engage with university life and all of the creativity that it can stimulate and it can celebrate. Lima's offer historically to the creative sector has been to put on very high calibre high-profile international exhibitions, positioning itself between community and between the international art world. I very much uh, talk about art being, uh, being useful, of being a tool in order to create social effect in one way or another. So what we're trying to think about now is how can we evolve MEMA in a way that the principal focus is the community programmes, the, the cafe, the education, the public work and that the collections and exhibitions service that. So really the, the main goal of, uh, of, of the Institute of Modern Art is to demonstrate and show what role art can play in people's lives in ordinary life. New Linthorpe is a project that's been conceived and run by myself, James Beaton, and by Emily Hesser. It looks at the legacy of the historic Linthorpe art pottery in Middlesbrough and asks what a pottery might look like on Teesside today. Importantly, it uses the local clay, a material that's still abundant in this area, and asks how this can be a material that's relevant not only for the production of artworks, but also as a material that can actually affect social change in this area. So what's particularly important to us with the New Linthorpe project is looking at this idea of co-authorship, which means the working with communities and other people to decide upon the outcomes for the project. In one of the ways that we've done that is to work with Middlesbrough Institute of Modern Art for the show Localism, in which we made the commissioned work Common Ground. Members of the community made work with us, discussed with us, talked about the future of Teesside, the future of industry, the future of ceramics. We're surrounded by the new Boosbeck Industries that we're making, which is uh, remaking a project that happened in the 1930s created by the Pennyman family, which was to teach unemployed miners how to make furniture, as well as other things. 
um, and we're remaking this uh, project for the artist Adam Clark, who's from Middlesbrough, to teach people how to make furniture, how to design, uh, to create a, a furniture making cooperative, but also a bigger cooperative um, industry, which uh, allows people to learn new skills, allow them to learn new technology, and then to create products and enterprise on the back of that. And in a way, this is a, a regeneration project, but also an artistic project at the same time. What's important is, is that MEMA is constructed by all the different user groups that use it. It's not just us saying, this is what an art gallery is for. People can come forward, they can use this as a place to meet, they can use this as a place to make, they can use this as a place to interact with other groups and other people. So it's a place where we're very much involved in teaching but, and, and, and educating and learning together as a community but learning through making and learning through doing. It's a very much a holistic idea of creativity that we're, that we're pushing in. Twisterella Festival is a one-day music event which is promoted by Pay For The Piano Promotions and the Kids Of Solid Gold. As promoters we got together in 2012 in a bid to offer something to the, to the town once we realised that perhaps the arts budgets were being trimmed. It's a one-day festival set across six stages and also a number of pop-up venues and it also features a music conference on the, on the daytime. The music conference is there to offer words of wisdom and support and guidance to aspiring local and regional acts. What the event does, it brings the expertise of Henry Carden and myself to put on an event which showcases the very best of the next emerging and breakthrough talent. Both Henry and myself are of the opinion that Twisterella should be rooted in its community. What we want to do, we want to give opportunities to our local and regional talent to be able to share the stage with the best national and international talent. That's great for their development, it's great for them as they help to build their careers and that's really at the heart of what Twisterella is, is about. It's about supporting people, about giving people a platform and allowing people to, to build their careers and move on. Our main focus as a theatre company is to produce professional shows here at Middlesbrough Theatre and in the Teesside area. We also offer opportunities for new writers in our writing festival and we work a lot with young people who are about to go into college or university for different design courses and then once they come out we also work with them once more. We create workshops as well so we've recently done some workshops for the libraries for the Summer Reading Challenge and those were primarily focused on creating different parts of a show so the children created different sets, uh, makeup, costume, they even created words for the show and then they eventually got to see that put on stage. But also we have a, a very key focus to working on practitioners in our area, so new directors, new writers, new actors. We do do a lot of work with kids who are heading off to drama school and want um, a bit of support and help. The way that the public can get involved is obviously by coming along, seeing our show, supporting us. They can also submit things to our new writing festival. They can be part, they can attend our workshops. We do sometimes host pre-show chats and post-show chats. Getting involved with Middlesbrough Theatre was a huge boon to us. So they will offer time and guidance and ultimately when they see opportunities and they see potential, they will help and support. Ten Feet Tall is an independent events company and we do all aspects of events uh, depending on what a client would want. I suppose we can um, organise, think up the whole idea of an event from scratch, take it through um, producing and making the thing happen to obviously promoting uh, the event and getting people to go to it or get involved with it. Ten Feet Tall run events at uh, the Middlesbrough Empire, uh, the Town Hall, do a lot of club nights, live music, live comedy. One of the most enjoyable things that we've done in the past is where there's people who maybe have um, a good idea or you know for like a, a local band festival or they want to organise you know a show or a charity event or something like that or they want to get into stand-up comedy or they fancy themselves as whatever it is and if we can kind of you know help them work with them get them involved in our events that's something we really enjoy if there's a kind of manifesto or an ethos of 10 feet tall and, and what what we'd like people to remember us for would be giving people um, a reason to be proud to be from Middlesbrough when you're filling in your diary of what you're going to be doing little things you've got to look forward to then a lot of them can be in Middlesbrough you don't need to get on the train in Newcastle, you don't need to go and book a B&B wherever or have to go to Leeds to see your favourite band or your favourite comedian. Hopefully we can provide a lot of things on your doorstep 
for you to look forward to? Platform Arts Limited is an artist-led company which provides affordable studio space for its artists, artists that are practicing mainly in this region. Also attached to the studios is Platform A Gallery whose entrance is on the, the Platform 1 of Middlesbrough Railway Station. Its intention is to support artists in the region and to provide a springboard for their careers. We take the artists work to international art fairs and we try to promote the artists on an international platform. The five artists that we represent in the gallery are artists that we consider to be making work that's critically engaged. We show other artists from around the country and abroad because we want to show a wide range of contemporary art and to, to establish what is actually happening out there at this particular time. We invite anybody to come along to the gallery and also to the previews where all artists give an actual talk about the work that they're presenting in order that even people who are not experienced in the art world can begin to understand the kind of work that we're exhibiting. Since 2010 we've been bringing writers together with artists and performers and musicians to create new work, always with the aim of getting that work out to audiences. We don't just want to, to see work being made, but we want to make sure that people are seeing this new work. And that means local audiences, the general public, but it also means key people from organisations, from film and TV and theatres. We ran, over the course of two years, a sketch writing and performing course. It was about saying, okay, you're interested in writing and performing comedy, here's another 10, 20 people who are also interested in the same thing, let's get you into groups, write and perform a sketch. This had the effect of, of forming a, a nice close-knit community of people who could trust each other to give feedback on their work, to improve the work, to strengthen the work. At the end of each 12-week course, we would put on a series of shows uh, open to the public. After that, I would say there were at least four sketch groups formed who then had the impetus to go out, find their own venues in Middlesbrough, put on their own shows, do their own thing. And to me, this is the way that you, you kickstart and then nurture a creative community. It's important that our writers speak to industry gatekeepers so that the people with the power to see them published and commissioned and writing for television and writing for theatre are aware that they're out there and that they're doing what they're doing and, and we can ensure through the development support that we give these writers that the work that they're producing is the very best that it can be. We need to create our own scene here that's vibrant and inclusive and welcoming to nurture and encourage the next generation of creative talent. And I think that's what we're doing. Middlesbrough has a vibrant and very successful creative and cultural sector. Creative Bloom is about ensuring this continued success. We will see our council, our creative sector and our people working together in a strong relationship. We will also see an infrastructure that works for our creative sector and ensures it to grow and thrive for the future.